everyone, this is Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com doing a Guitar Lesson series for Jelly Note. In this lesson, we're going to learn the main riff to Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. And along the way, I'm going to show you guys how to read tablature and chord charts. Now, in the description of this video, you'll see a link to the interactive tab that goes with this video. Now, Jelly Note has thousands of interactive tabs and sheet music in sync with videos just like this one. So I suggest you check it out. All right, let's start with the tablature explanation. Now, guitar tablature is really what most guitar players used to learn music. Um, it's much easier to read than standard sheet music. Um, so that's what you're going to find here at Jelly Note. You're going to find a lot of interactive tabs. So it's showing you how to play it just by using a number system that we're going to talk about here, uh, which is pretty easy to get uh, to understand. So first of all, you'll see that there are six lines here. Now I have them numbered string one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now string one is the smallest string on the guitar. So you can see it's that top line. And then you just work your way down to string two. So you get to the lowest string or the lowest line, which is string six. Now the reason it's laid out like this is you want to think of the highest pitch string is, on, is the top line, so it's the highest line is the highest pitch. That kind of uh, is, they get that from basically standard sheet music. So now we have six lines here. So each one represents, each of those uh, horizontal lines represents um, one of the strings on the guitar. And it's pretty easy from here, the number that is written on that specific string tells you what fret to play. So let's look at this first measure here, where there's a 1 and a 3 written on that top line. Well, since it's a top line, that's telling us that it is the high E string of the first string. And I put my finger here on the first fret, because there's a 1 there. So that's telling me play the first. So I'll play that. And then the next number is a 3, so that's the next note I'm going to play. So both of those were on that first line, or that top line, which is string number 1 and it's fret number one and fret number three. So remember, the numbers tell you the frets and the lines tell you the strings. All right, let's look at the next measure. So we're, we're gonna do uh, different strings here. Now you can see there's a two there and it's written on string three. So the two means play the second fret. Now when they mean play second fret, they basically mean the second space. You don't play on top of the fret. You play just behind it in the second space. So you play the second fret there. And then the next one's a three and it's written on string four. So that means since it's a number three, you're going to be playing the third fret. And you can see what line it's on. It's on the fourth string line. So I'm over here, there on the D string, playing the third fret. The next measure shows you what an open string is. Now, an open string in tablature um, is expressed with a zero. What that basically means is you're going to hit the string, but you're not going to have a finger on it. It's open, so it's a zero. So whenever you have a string ringing, but you don't put any fingers on it, that's going to be a zero in tablature, and it's also referred to as an open string. And now we have the last measure here, which is notes written on top of one another. So whenever they're written on top of one another, or a, a series of numbers, that is a chord. So all those notes are played at the same time when they're written on top of one another. So I can work this chord out. We haven't really talked about chords yet, but I'll just show you the process. That top line, string number one, there, you can see there's a two there. So that two tells me that's the second fret. So I'm going to put a note there, and I'm going to leave it there. And then on the next string down, there's a three. So I'm going to put a note on the third fret on that one leave it there, and then on the next string down, string three, you can see there's a two written on it. So I'm going to put a finger on the second fret, and then on the fourth string, you see there's a zero. That means that string is open. So what you do is you play all those at the same time, and you have a chord. In this case, it is a D major chord. So speaking of chords, let's look at some chord charts here. Now chord charts are a lot easier um, to, to use to learn how to read chords, to figure out chords, because you can see tablature is a lot of numbers written on top of each other, and you'll get quick at that, but in the beginning, especially, chord charts are, are a little bit easier to understand. 
So let's take a look at some chord charts here. We're going to start here with an E minor chord. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the now vertical lines we have. Now, how do you read this chord chart is there's six lines, but now they're vertical. And the one on the far right hand side is the first string. So that's the first string. And then the one to the, directly to the left of that, the vertical line is the B string or the second string. And then the, to the left of that is the third. So it makes its way to the far left vertical line is the sixth string. So, so now the strings are vertical and you can, we're going to start with the string on the right hand side. So we're going to start with this E minor chord. Now I'm going to place the notes down as we, as we go. So if you start on the first string, you can see there's a, an O on top of that string written right above it. What that means is that's an open string. That's how you uh, tell it's an open string in chord charts. So instead of a zero, it's kind of like a zero actually, uh, from the tablature, that string is going to be open. The next string you'll see also has that, and so does the third string. Pretty easy. So those top three strings are all open. Now when we work our way over to the fourth string there, you're going to see a black dot on the second space. You see that? Now that thick black line up top is basically the guitar nut. And then the first white box after that is the first fret. And then the second white box down from that is the second fret. And then you work your way all the way up first, second, third, fourth frets. And you can see those in the boxes. So you'll see that there is a black dot with a three in the middle of it. And it's right there. Basically, these chord charts are just a picture of the guitar neck. And you can see that what that tells you is you use your third finger. In this case, your third finger is your ring finger. Because remember, it's one, two, three, four. We just number starting from the index, one, two, three, four to the pinky. All right, so now that's the third finger is going to be placed right there at the second fret on that D string. All right, so now we have four of the strings taken care of. Now let's go all the way down to the fifth string there that's to the, the left of that and there's also another black dot in the second fret this time there's a two in it because you use your second finger so I'm going to put my second finger on that dot and then we make it all the way over to the sixth string and that's an open string because you can see the big um, O above the string all right so now we have all those we have all the notes ready to go we strum all six strings and you have an E minor chord. Very easy chord. All right, now keep that E minor in your hand, and we're gonna go to an E major chord from that, and there's just a one note difference. What I want you to do now is look at that chord chart to the right of the E minor one for the E major chord, and you'll see there is only a one note difference in it, and that's on that third string, that third line from the right, third vertical line from the right, there's a black dot in the first fret and there's a one in it, which means you're gonna use your first finger. Put that finger there, so no long, it's no longer an open string now. And along with all the other notes, remain the same as just the E minor. You strum that, and you have an E major chord. All right, so now that we know how to read tablature, let's take a look at our first song. Now we're going to learn the main riff to Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. Now if you look at the tab, you'll see that there's a 7 there on the D string. Now what I want you to do is I want you to play that note with your index finger. So you hold that, and then you're going to see the next note is going to be a 9, and that is on the G string. Now I want you to play that note with your pinky. might not be the most comfortable thing to do. Uh, but we're using our pinky for a good reason. Uh, now, so we have those two notes, and after you have them held, all you have to do now to play them is play the D string with a downstroke, and then the G string with an upstroke. So I want you to get used to that maneuver. So down, then up. Now, as you're holding down those notes, you want them to ring together. So even though you're picking them individually, one after the other in the tab, 
I'm holding them down so they're still ringing while I'm picking the next note. So basically you do that eight times. Then all you have to do is play six on the D while still holding the same note with your pinky on the G string. So that is why we're using our pinky on the G string because reaching back to this sixth fret can be tough for some people, especially if you're using this finger. Uh, so let's just take the first finger and move it back one fret while keeping the other one the same. And you pick the same picking eight times there. Now it gets a little bit easier. All you have to do is still keep your pinky at the ninth fret on the G, but on the D string, just lift up the index finger and you'll see there's a zero, which means that's an open string. So that D string is now open. And you say, play the same picking figure across those two strings eight times. And then we're going to end it with the same seventh fret there on the D. Done eight times as well. Now I suggest trying to follow along with the actual chorus of the song. Um, they use this riff throughout the song, uh, but the, how many times they play each one varies. Uh, but in the chorus, it's uh, pretty straightforward, especially the extended chorus. Well, they'll start with eight times, then eight, then eight, and ending with eight. And then when it starts over, remember the first chord is the one that you're already playing, and you'll just start over and play eight again. So it really looks like it's 16 times in a row, but it's just that this is the ending chord and the beginning chord. All right, so that is a great thing to get you started. It gets you used to picking individual strings a little bit, a nice simple picking pattern, and a simple left hand thing, but it's really the beginning of showing you how to read tablature. Um, and as we get through this little course and you learn more songs, you'll learn a more complex tablature and uh, all your chord forms, your basic chord forms and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can check out those lessons. I'll see you then. Oh,